Welcome to Showverse. I'm your host, Kyleen McHenry, and today I'll be joined by Marie Daly. She is the author of the book series, The, the Adventures of Rise and Garth. Uh, we are producing all of her books into audiobooks, and this is for the release of Tania's Dawn. It's the first book in the series. Thank you for joining us, Marie. Hello, and thank you for having me on the show. All right. So how have you been? Oh, I've been fine. Thank you for asking, though. Yes. So congratulations on the <laughs> full launch of your first audiobook for the series. Um, it was released previously on both the Kai's Corner Productions website as well as Audible. But now it's going to be released worldwide through all the other platforms. Uh, how are you feeling about this? I am amazed and hyped and oh my goodness, I can't believe this. It's amazing. It's, it's wonderful. My gosh. All right. So for those that are aware, we did originally have an interview with Marie up on our channel. It got taken down for all of our sites due to technical issues, but we are back. We are probably revisiting some of the same questions, but we will have a whole bunch of other things to throw your way this time. So let's get started. So uh, Marie, can you start us off with an overview of the series without giving can away too many spoilers? Okay, so overall, uh, we have got this colony world. Uh, it, mind you, it's an alien planet. Uh, it's an alien people, sorry. <laughs> uh, they're a cat people, lion people would probably be a better description. And uh, no tails, of course, but they start out with uh, simple villagers. Uh, their planet was bombed practically out of existence. It was a colony world to start with, but it was practically bombed out of existence over 300 years before. And now we're starting with these um, late teeners, early 20s kids, <laughs> if you will, that uh, for various reasons end up having to leave their village and they're seeking out, well, first off, they're seeking out to explore the world a bit, but they want to find out what happened as best they can. Go ch check the ruins of the greatest city on the planet. It's named Haley's. And uh, see if they can find any bits of their old technology because they were an extremely advanced, technologically advanced people. And they want to rebuild the world. They want to rebuild their civilization. They want to make it better than before. All right. Does that help? <laughs> kind that of. does. All right. So the first book takes place on Tanya. Can you tell us a little bit about the actual uh, colony planet? Okay. So Tana was actually um, uh, a game preserve, uh, 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 not just for hunters, but also conservationists. And so different areas of the planet had had... Um, basically animals and plants and, and in some cases people from other worlds transplanted into it kind of a, they created areas with different ecosystems on the planet, which I haven't gone too much into, but they are there. <laughs> so um, since the bombing of the, all the cities, there were only allowed 12 cities on the whole planet because again, it was more of a conservation effort. It was more of a, you know, a hunters, you know, they could, they could do some hunting, but um, it wasn't just in general open for regular colonization. So it was very restricted. The foresters kept everything under control. They were the police, they were the uh, conservationists, they were, you know, actually for beyond Tana, they were the police force and took care of things on the other worlds of the Starmen. All right. Uh, the next question I have for you is, uh, what was the inspiration for the series? Oh, my goodness. I, I, I want to say if I didn't write, I didn't sleep. It just was there. The characters were talking in my head, and again, I didn't have a choice. So and mind you, this is like, I started this like 
30 some odd years ago <laughs> and just kept writing and writing and it, like, again uh, otherwise these characters would keep me awake <laughs> so it was kind of a self-defense <laughs> but I can't it, there's so many different parts in there um, that really it, a lot of it came by itself I didn't know of anybody having a story about talents if you will you know the psi people um, or everything was written usually in a human perspective but mine never was not even from the start all right. so. so with that note we will be back after a brief commercial break from a note from our sponsors mm -hmm. the Amalia Chronicles the new fantasy adventure series produced by Kai's Corner Productions. Find out more in the link in the description below. And welcome back to Showverse. And again, I'm here with Marie. She's talking about Tanya's Dawn. And the next question I have for you is Rise and Garth. Like their dynamic in the story and in the series as a whole has is very an interesting take that I've seen. Um, can you do a little, tell us a little bit about them? Like, like how they came to being? <laughs> well, uh, oh gosh. Uh, well, they just, they, they came into my head and their relationship was already established. I mean, he was, I haven't gone back into this yet. We'll do it in a future story. I think I can insert it. But when she was a teener, uh, she got really sick. Uh, she tried to eat some fruit from another, um, I want to say district on the planet, <laughs> you know, ecosystem that had been brought in by one of the caravanners. And they didn't know, she, you know, basically self-poisoning by this. Because <laughs> this girl talked her into, oh, you want to try this fruit? Yeah. Hmm. But anyway, so um, Garth helped her get through that. Uh, but she never knew it because at the time she was just, out of it but he had this attachment to her it was just almost like heart to heart soul to soul he wasn't going to let anything happen to her if he could but he didn't even know how to get near her at the beginning <laughs> so this hunt that they go on is his first chance to actually spend time with her you know and it just the relationship just grows from there i mean i i couldn't split them up <laughs> it just and as you shouldn't. <laughs> no, no. Actually, these two, no. It, it, there's stuff that happens in seven, but we're not going to go into this right here. That's seven is seven. Arrival, isn't it? Um, no, Arrival is six. And I thought I'm Rescue sorry. was six. Uh, res oh, no, Rescue is five. Okay, that's five. right. Rescue, Rescue is five. five. Uh, Arrival is going to be, I mean, uh, seven is Foundations, I believe. Foundations, that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have yeah. the whole list, but I've been like on and off. <laughs> I've just been waiting. I still need to read Rescue now that it's out. Like I, oh, yeah. I know you, get, I know you sent me the copy. I just I wanted to wait until it's physically published before I started reading it. <laughs> I've got to um, get the print parameters on that cover, and the cover artist has not been cooperative. So I might actually have to go somewhere else to I get can, that adjusted. We can talk after this. I can uh, Great. do what I did last time with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was uh, it was an interesting thing that I can't get this guy to, to even give me an answer. And I thought, okay, you got your money and you're, you're done. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. If you, yeah, we'll talk about this. After uh, that's thing. later. That's later. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, so um, yeah, I'm really excited about rescue being out too. I mean, and then we've got the anniversary. Yeah. It is going to be the anniversary. And I'm very, actually very excited about that too. Uh, September 21st, Friday 1st. Uh, September 21st, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, when you, you released Rescue how long ago? Uh, Rescue was released uh, last week. Yeah, so like they're within a week of each other. Oh my gosh, that's funny. It is, it really is. Well, you know, pandemic and everything and all this other fun stuff we've been right. running through. Next, I'd like to talk about the new features. So you started out with book one with a completely different cover. Uh, it's altered the story a couple of times back when, because it was your first book published. I remember you talking about that. Tweak. Yep, yeah. tweaking. And then now you have a history and other things that are available in the audiobook and the new editions that you didn't have before. Let's uh, talk some about that. 
Okay, so I thought let's put some history in so that people have an idea where things are starting at. A little bit of Kamar, which is the homeworld of the Starmen, just a tiny touching on that. Uh, but it was one of the emperors, hundreds of thousands, not hundreds of thousands, uh, t tens of thousands of years ago, who actually took the uh, Starman and changed him from something that looked like a human and into the the lion people. So I kind of lightly touched on that, but didn't go into that part heavy. Antidine is going to be explaining things on book six. So <laughs> a little, a little more. <laughs> but it gives you kind of a little preview on that. And that it, it ended with tear being mentioned and that's bringing us into the prelude for that so at least you know he's been mentioned <laughs> <laughs> does that help <laughs> but i wanted to you know i i, I gave a little tiny brief thing on on tana itself you know the All planet right. And for those that want to watch, click on that little card up on the top right, and it'll talk. It'll go into the uh, dedications, the intro, the history, and the first and the prelude, so you can listen to it all in one video. Uh -oh. All right. And then, so why did you choose Kai's Corner Productions to produce the series? Because you've got the expertise I lack, and, and that's invaluable in this world. Believe me. <laughs> Oh, thank you. And the fact that I'm family helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you little. go. <laughs> Just a little yeah. bit. <laughs> but the thing is, you do know what to do with the stuff that I lack the, the experience. I, I, I mean, honestly, I consider it a learning exp experience every day sometimes, but... Ah. <laughs> yes. And for side story, for those that don't know, I actually helped Marie figure out how to do the audiobook and the paperback, not only to improve her royalties in general, but to get it out to more markets than Amazon and Ingram Spark was allowing. Right. But I can't take the full credit on that. I did uh, figure out those tips from Jenna Moresti from her Discord. If you haven't uh, followed her uh, writing tips, everybody, please go into the link below the video. It'll go into that and it's invaluable writing advice. She is probably the best person that I went to for my own personal writing as well. Super Bless helpful. her. Blame me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's such a hard job. I love it though. She does yeah. the yeah. best videos. Actually, she even has a master course up too for, uh, for uh, marketing. So I need to Wonderful. view that. Yeah. But that's it for the general questions that I have, at least the specific okay. ones that I wrote down. Uh -huh. So we will be producing book two later this year, although it probably won't be released until middle to end of 2020, too, because I forgot a year for a second. <laughs> <laughs> We've been working on this for a couple of years now, trying to get it yes. going. Yes. <laughs> yes. But yeah. And then I happened to start my business and then it was like, oh, okay, now we can do it. <laughs> We yeah. have a backing for it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Anyways, uh, again, fabulous work by you for the writing. Alexander for bringing the book to life. Uh, his link is also listed below for his website. Uh, he is a voice actor, television and film actor, and he has another YouTube channel going on that's called The History Chronicles. So if you want to learn about history in an interesting mm -hmm. way with the videos, go there again it'll be on his site. So check that yeah. out. And Marie's site now has the purchase links for all of her series. So you can check out her series, check, listen to the free samples, read experts, excerpts from it. And I will see about getting the history up today because I'm also managing the site. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Wonderfully. Yes, I have to. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. I have to really, you know, thank you so very much. Oh, I really did. Yeah, no problem. Anyways, um, is there any closing remarks you want to end this with? Um, well, I did want to let people know at this present time, the series is only going to run 10 books. And then I have other projects that we're going to be uh, delving into. And I uh, can't wait to get the time to work on that. I had, I want to say, Tassie and Garen in my head the other day. <laughs> 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 That's a different one. <laughs> 
entirely. <laughs> so are but, yeah. these projects going to be mostly in the same world, just, you know, different no. characters, or are they going to be completely different stories altogether? Totally different stories altogether. Although I do have one that I want to work on that is going to be in the same world, but in the future. And that's going to be Manda. Um, she's going to be the next uh, talent of One Plus. So, nice. yeah, <laughs> it will be. <laughs> oh. All right. So everyone look forward to Winter Haven. It's the second book in the series. We will be doing audiobook for that. And our next audiobook release coming from Kai's Corner Productions is actually the, my first novel, uh, Blackbird's Life of Steve. It was originally a novella. I'm expanding it to a novel and we are working on the recording and it should be out uh, summer of 20 or around August of uh, 2022. So that'll be the next one. And then uh, the next book will be shortly after for Marie's. So it'll be wonderful. Like, yes. Like and subscribe to our channels, Marie's, Alex's. And thank you so much for uh, coming in, Marie. And everyone, have a wonderful day. Please uh, leave mm. comments. And we will get back to you on messages and sign up for the newsletter. We post new content every month. So we like to let everyone know it's generally either in our Discord or our newsletter where we announce everything first. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Kai. <laughs> hey, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. You can check out our website for all the content we produce. Clicking all those YouTube buttons makes it so you see more content from myself and the other amazing creators at Kai's Corner Productions. All donations help us produce more stuff like that for you. See you guys in the next one. Peace.